Welcome to White Lecture Online. In the previous video, we found the tension in this particular case, where we have a block being pulled across the floor with, at an angle, with the, the tension with an angle with the horizontal equal to theta. There was friction between the block and the floor, and so we found the equation that describes the tension in terms of everything else. But now we're trying to find the angle at which we'll have the minimum tension. For what angle theta will we require the minimum amount of tension to pull the box across the floor at a constant velocity? So the strategy here is to take the derivative of the tension with respect to the angle and then solve for the angle that gives us the minimum tension. So what we're going to do here is write dt d theta and find an equation equivalent to that. So we're trying to find the derivative. We have a quotient, so we take the denominator, cosine of theta plus mu times the sine of theta, times the derivative of the denominator, now that's a constant, so that would be times zero, minus the denominator, mg mu, multiply times the derivative of the denominator. Now the derivative of cosine is a negative sign, and the derivative of sine is the cosine, plus mu times the cosine of theta, all divided by the denominator squared, which is the cosine of theta plus mu times the sine of theta, and the whole thing squared. Of course, to find the max or min, what we do is we take the derivative and set it equal to zero. So we're going to set the dt d theta equal to zero and solve for theta. Of course, we have a fraction, which means if the fraction equals zero, that means the numerator must equal zero. Now this part of the numerator, of course, is zero because we multiply times zero. And when we multiply this times this, what we get here is zero is equal to mg mu, we multiply that times a negative 1, and that changes that to a positive sine of theta minus mu times the cosine of theta. Of course, for that to equal 0, these two must equal 0. That means, therefore, 0 must equal the sine of theta minus mu times the cosine of theta. And, let's see here, if I then... Uh, move this to the other side, I get mu times the cosine of theta, mu times the cosine of theta equal to the sine of theta, and then divide both sides by the cosine of theta, that means sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta equals mu, or the tangent of theta equals mu, which means that theta must equal the inverse tangent of mu. At that angle, we'll have the smallest tension. Now that we have this, let's plug this value back in our equation because we're actually going to calculate what that minimum tension is. So what we're going to do is combine this equation and combine this equation together and see what we get. So T min is equal to mg mu divided by the cosine of theta now notice that mu is going to be equal to the tangent of theta, which means that it's going to be plus uh, the tangent of theta, which is the sine of theta, divided by the cosine of theta, times the sine of theta. Now if we're going to write all that over a common denominator, so that I can write it like this, I can say that T min is equal to mg mu divided by the cosine square of theta plus the sine square of theta, sine times sine times sine square, cosine times cosine, all divided by the cosine of theta. And so that means that this will equal 1, and so t min is going to be equal to mg mu divided by 1 over the cosine of theta, so that's mg mu times the cosine of theta. Alright, now with a few trigonometric tricks, we could do something to make this look a little bit more interesting. We can replace the cosine by 1 over the secant, so we can write that t min is equal to mg mu over the secant of theta. Now remember, 
that the secant square of theta is equal to 1 plus the tangent square of theta. So the secant can be written as the square root of 1 plus the tangent squared. So this can be written as mg mu divided by the square root of 1 plus the tangent square of theta. And then, of course, the tangent square of theta, well, the tangent of theta is equal to mu, so this can be written as 1 over mu squared, or t min is equal to mg mu divided by the square root of 1 plus u squared. Oh, not mu, u, but mu squared. And this is an interesting way of writing the minimum tension only in terms of mu, m, and g. And that is how it's done, how we get from the tangent of theta equals mu for the minimum tension to an expression where the angle is no longer part of it, since, after all, tangent of theta is equal to mu. And that's how we do that.